What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivan. Thank you so much as always for clicking on this video. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We are back with another Carol G video. We are covering Carol G and Coachella again today because wow. Let's just give her the title of she is the Latin queen right now. Like I do have to give some flowers out. Love, love her second performance of Coachella. If you guys didn't watch my previous video, she performed at Coachella week one. In this video, we are covering week two because there were some new things that went down did switch it up just a little bit and even debuted her new song her new single her first song of 2022 we have news of her from Coachella new single new award new tour we're covering some of the shade that went on during her Coachella set I'm excited I hope you guys are too I'm so excited I even had to go get my Colombian jersey I had to go get la camiseta that's how excited I am here we go Carol did the exact same set list as she did last week however in this set list we did get her brand new single her first single of 2022, Provenza. I love the music video. The music video is a beautiful. And for the first time ever, she performed it at Coachella. Becky G did join her again for week two of Coachella and Becky G threw some shade. Ooh, did you guys catch that shade? I caught the shade. Let's get into it all in this video because Becky G, I love Becky G. Like Becky, <laughs> I heard that Becky and I know exactly who you're talking about. Go off Becky G. She didn't come out in the denim look that she had last week. This week she had like a one piece it was beautiful. It was a great outfit. I actually found out that the next outfit that she wore, the Colombian flag outfit, was designed by Roberto Cavalli. She wore the Colombian outfit one more time as well. It's really monumental, the things that she's doing with her career right now. She has been working for years, really, really hard, grinding at her craft. Her performances are getting better. They're getting bigger. There was fireworks. There was fire in this performance. She had special guests. This week, there was no DJ Tiesto, but we did get another fellow Colombian, J. Alvin loved the little speech that he made for her. Apparently they go back years. They know each other from years ago, from back in the day in Colombia. And he was saying how like, you know, I'm so proud of you. I've seen you perform at 316s in schools and look at you now on the main stage at Coachella. The set list was the same as last week. She did switch it up with performing her brand new song, Provenza. She also released a music video to him. I love the music video. She did make a little speech about what the song was about. The song's about love, joy, having fun, and sex. Music video, it's very women empowering. You guys gotta watch it. I'm gonna link everything down below. Great performance. Very, very energetic. Lots of dancing. Lots of jumping. Becky G came out and killed it with Carol. They performed their song, Mommy. But this song has had a little bit of controversy because this is kind of like the first song that Carol put out after her breakup with Anuel. If you don't really know too much about Carol, she was dating this other fellow musician, Anuel, and their relationship was very, very public. They've done a lot of songs together. They've done music videos together. You know, it's to be expected that when you're in the public I like that and then you break up people are like ooh what happened well as it turns out he's with another gal right now has her name tatted on him he has moved on and Carol has moved on but you know Carol you know drop this song mommy in this song one of Carol's verses she is throwing like a little shot like, she throws a little dig they performed the song for the first time last week together and shortly after that song debut Anuel her ex-boyfriend did make a comment about it on his Instagram story definitely in his feeling and Becky G this week really caught on to that kind of shit that he was throwing. She called it out. Becky G called it out. I heard they was big mad at this verse. And everybody, the crowd went crazy. If you're not familiar with what Carol says, this is what she said. A veces no te cambian para algo mejor y ni siquiera para algo más rico. Basically saying, you know, you get left and they don't switch you up for anything better. So it's that kind of like a dig that she threw. Carol's very, very self-empowering. She loves to empower women. And she's very open in her music about her relationships and feelings and things like that. And the things that she goes through. This song is no different. It's to be expected. So yeah, a veces, a veces. <laughs> but Becky called it out. It's like the best part of the song, I feel like. I wouldn't even call it a verse. I'd say it's like kind of like a speech. Becky, you're so funny. I love you. We need more music with Becky and Carol. I definitely need to see them perform Mommy at an award show. Someone needs to make that happen. Carol ended up finishing her set performing Dusa. There was no Nikki. They've never performed the song together. It would have been a great opportunity, but I still love the song. Before Carol left, the crowd was going crazy chanting otra otra like they wanted more they wanted another song that was a really cute moment though seeing the fans just wanting more again another week of just like a sea of blue wigs mermaid wigs which i thought was super super cute i'm really here for carol you know paying tribute and homage to those latin artists who've come before her again if you haven't checked out my previous video on carol g and latinas taking over coachella week one check that out some other big news of carol g she announced that she is going on tour and it is a u.s arena tour 
Our new tour is launching this September, September 6th. The tour is called the Strip Love Tour, so you know it's gonna be hot. Why do I feel like there's gonna be pole dancing in this tour? I'm excited. She performed her TSO song earlier as well in Coachella, week one and week two. She's really dabbling in that English market. I really want more Carol singing in English. She's ready. She's the moment right now. She's blowing up right now. She has elevated herself to pop superstar. She is a pop superstar at this point. Carol was also a big, big winner at the Latin American Music Awards. She took home Album of the Year and Artist of the Year. That's really dope for a woman to be doing that. Stay tuned for more Carol G updates. If you're into her, drop a comment. Did you see Coachella? Let me know how you felt about it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you like any of the content that you find on this channel, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a comment. All of my links are listed down below so you guys can follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter. For the next scene, until the next vlog, until the next commentary and review, I'm going to talk to you guys later.